Henry Kissinger, a name that evokes admiration, criticism, and intense debate. This German-born American who fled Nazi persecution and served in the U.S. Army during World War II rose to become one of the most influential figures in United States foreign policy. As both Secretary of State and National Security Advisor under Presidents Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford, Kissinger left an indelible mark on international relations. His pragmatic approach to politics, known as real politic, carved out a new path in U.S. diplomacy. He was instrumental in pioneering detente with the Soviet Union, opening relations with China, and negotiating the end of the Vietnam War. These groundbreaking moves earned him recognition as a diplomatic genius. However, like any influential figure, Kissinger's tenure was not without controversy. His decisions during the Vietnam War, particularly the secret U.S. bombing campaign in Cambodia, have been under scrutiny for their impact on civilian casualties. His support for authoritarian regimes has also raised eyebrows and sparked intense discussions about the ethics of foreign policy. Even after leaving government, Kissinger continued to shape international politics. He founded a geopolitical consulting firm and penned numerous books on international relations, further cementing his role as a key player in global affairs. But who was this man, really? A diplomatic savant who navigated the treacherous waters of Cold War politics with skill and finesse or a controversial figure whose decisions resulted in widespread suffering and loss. As we delve deeper into Kissinger's life and decisions remember history isn't black and white, it's a fascinating tapestry of greys, woven by the decisions, actions and perceptions of those who live it. As we unravel the enigma of Henry Kissinger, we invite you to keep an open mind and explore the many shades of this complex figure. The journey of Henry Kissinger is nothing short of remarkable. Born in 1923 in a small town in Germany, Kissinger was the son of a schoolteacher and a homemaker, both of whom were Jewish. As the dark clouds of Nazism loomed over Germany, Kissinger and his family made the harrowing decision to flee their homeland in 1938. They embarked on a journey to the United States, leaving behind everything they knew. In the United States, Kissinger quickly adapted to his new surroundings. His intellect and curiosity led him to the City College of New York, where he studied accounting. However, his academic pursuits were interrupted by World War II. Kissinger was drafted into the U.S. Army, where he served in an intelligence capacity. His fluency in German and understanding of the German mindset proved invaluable during the denazification efforts that followed the fall of the Third Reich. What's particularly intriguing about this period in Kissinger's life is how it shaped his views on politics and diplomacy. His first-hand experience of the horrors of war and the destructive power of ideologies gone astray likely influenced his later approach to international relations. This approach, known as real politic, prioritized the balance of power and national interest over ideological alignment. It was pragmatic, often controversial, but undeniably effective. Kissinger's service in the U.S. Army also introduced him to the world of strategy and geopolitics. His role in planning and executing operations honed his analytical skills, preparing him for a career that would see him at the helm of U.S. foreign policy. These formative years were the stepping stones to a career that would change the face of American foreign policy. From a young Jewish boy fleeing Nazi persecution to a U.S. Army officer, and later, the Secretary of State, Henry Kissinger's journey is a testament to resilience, adaptability, and the pursuit of one's convictions. Kissinger's diplomatic prowess shone through in his dealings with the Soviet Union and China. As we delve into this chapter of his remarkable life, we find Kissinger navigating the treacherous waters of Cold War politics, and in doing so, reshaping the global landscape. Henry Kissinger's role in pioneering detente with the Soviet Union was a masterstroke in diplomacy. At a time when the world was teetering on the brink of nuclear catastrophe, Kissinger managed to ease the icy tensions between the two superpowers. His pragmatic approach, known as real politic, saw him placing the national interest above ideological differences. This strategy played a crucial role in thawing the Cold War, and in the process, helped to avert a global nuclear nightmare. But Kissinger's diplomatic acumen didn't end with the Soviets. He was also instrumental in opening relations with China. In a world where China was largely isolated, Kissinger saw an opportunity. He recognized that engaging with China could provide the United States with a strategic advantage over the Soviet Union, and he was right. His secret visit to Beijing in 1971 paved the way for President Nixon's historic visit the following year. 
This strategic maneuvering not only reshaped the dynamics of the Cold War, but also ushered China into the international community. These diplomatic feats were no small achievements. They required a deep understanding of geopolitical complexities, a knack for strategic thinking, and the courage to take bold decisions. Kissinger's role in orchestrating these historic events demonstrated his considerable skills as a diplomat and strategist. These diplomatic victories solidified Kissinger's reputation as a savvy negotiator. His legacy in this regard remains a testament to his remarkable abilities, even as we continue to grapple with the complexities of his controversial career. The Vietnam War is a dark chapter in American history, and Kissinger's role in it is equally contentious. As the United States Secretary of State and National Security Advisor, Henry Kissinger was a key figure in shaping the country's foreign policy during the Vietnam War. His role in negotiating the end of this prolonged conflict was significant, but it wasn't devoid of controversy. Kissinger is perhaps most infamously known for orchestrating the secret bombing campaign on Cambodia, a neutral country during the Vietnam War. The campaign, known as Operation Menu, was carried out from March 1969 to May 1970. It was designed to destroy the supply routes of the Viet Cong, the communist guerrillas fighting against South Vietnam and the U.S. However, it resulted in extensive civilian casualties and infrastructure devastation. This covert operation was kept secret from the American public and Congress, only coming to light in 1973. The revelation sparked outrage and led to a series of legislative actions aimed at restricting the executive power in foreign military interventions. But Kissinger's role in the Vietnam War wasn't limited to controversial strategies. He was instrumental in the Paris Peace Accords of 1973, which helped end U.S. involvement in the war. The agreement earned him the Nobel Peace Prize, a decision that itself was met with criticism due to the secret bombings. Critics have argued that Kissinger's actions during the war were not just strategically flawed, but also ethically questionable. His decisions have been scrutinized for their impact on civilian casualties and for extending the war, which led to further suffering on all sides. However, Kissinger defended his actions maintaining that they were necessary for the United States' national security and the achievement of peace in Southeast Asia. Despite his defense, his role in the Vietnam War remains a heated topic of discussion among historians, scholars, and the public. The Vietnam War ended, but the controversy surrounding Kissinger's actions continues to this day. Kissinger's real politic approach often led him to support regimes that were far from democratic. Let's delve into some instances where this was the case. Kissinger's pragmatic approach to politics was focused on maintaining a balance of power and establishing strategic alliances, often overlooking the ethical dimensions of these relationships. Take for instance, his dealings with Chile. In the early 70s, Kissinger played a key role in the United States covert operation to undermine Chile's democratically elected socialist government. This ultimately led to a military coup and the rise of Augusto Pinochet's brutal dictatorship. In another part of the world, Kissinger's policies towards Pakistan during the Bangladesh Liberation War in 1971 drew criticism. Despite reports of genocide by the Pakistani military, Kissinger's administration continued to support Pakistan, a key ally in the Cold War. Similarly, in Southeast Asia, Kissinger was instrumental in the United States' policy towards Cambodia. Despite the human rights abuses of the Khmer Rouge regime, Kissinger pursued a policy of non-interference, leading to widespread condemnation. These are just a few examples that illustrate Kissinger's preference for political pragmatism over ethical considerations. His support for authoritarian regimes, even those engaged in human rights abuses, continues to generate controversy. The ethical concerns raised by Kissinger's real politic approach are not easily dismissed. Some argue that his pragmatic approach was necessary given the geopolitical realities of the time. Others, however, view his actions as a blatant disregard for the principles of democracy and human rights. Was this pragmatic diplomacy or a disregard for human rights? The debate rages on. Even after leaving government, Kissinger's influence in global affairs remained strong. His departure from public office did not mean an end to his active role in world politics. Instead, he traded the confines of government for the broader expanse of global consultancy. He founded a geopolitical consulting firm an enterprise that allowed him to continue shaping policy and strategy on a global scale. His expertise and insights were not just limited to his clients. He shared his knowledge with the world through the written word. 
His books on international relations became a beacon for those interested in understanding the complexities of global politics. He wrote extensively, providing an in-depth analysis of the world's shifting power dynamics, the evolving landscape of international alliances, and the intricate web of global diplomacy. His words were not just a reflection of his experiences, they were a testament to his deep understanding of the world and its workings. His post-government life wasn't without controversy, much like his tenure in office. His consulting firm and his writings were often under scrutiny, criticized by some for perpetuating the same policies that had made his time in government contentious. Yet, his influence remained undeniable. Regardless of the criticism, his insights into international relations continued to be sought after, his strategic acumen respected and his legacy in global politics acknowledged. Kissinger's life after government was a testament to the enduring impact of his work. His influence extended beyond his time in office, shaping the world in ways that are still evident today. His geopolitical consulting firm and his writings on international relations have left an indelible mark on global politics. His legacy continues to shape the world for better or worse. The legacy of Henry Kissinger is as complex as the man himself. A figure who elicits both admiration and censure, Kissinger's imprint on history is indelible and multifaceted. His journey from a young German boy fleeing the Nazis, to becoming one of the most influential figures in American foreign policy, is nothing short of remarkable. His strategic acumen and pragmatic approach, known as real politic, played a pivotal role in shaping global events during a turbulent era. His pioneering efforts in detente with the Soviet Union and opening relations with China are hailed as significant diplomatic victories. Yet the same pragmatism that garnered Kissinger acclaim also led to decisions that are viewed with disapproval. The controversial end to the Vietnam War for which he orchestrated secret negotiations remains a contentious chapter in his career. His support for authoritarian regimes justified under the banner of geopolitical stability has been criticized for compromising American values. Life after government saw Kissinger transition into a scholarly role, authoring books on international relations and establishing a geopolitical consulting firm. His insights and analyses continue to be sought after, reinforcing his enduring influence on the global stage. The debates about Kissinger's legacy are ongoing. His detractors argue that his actions resulted in unnecessary human suffering and loss, while his supporters contend that he was an effective statesman navigating an intricate and volatile geopolitical landscape. As we reflect on Kissinger's life and decisions, we realize that history is a complex tapestry woven with threads of both triumph and controversy. Our journey through the life of Henry Kissinger comes to a close but the conversation does not. We've ventured through the labyrinth of a life marked by both achievement and controversy. From fleeing Nazi persecution to becoming a key architect of U.S. foreign policy, Kissinger's path was anything but ordinary. As we explored his role in shaping the detente with the Soviet Union and opening relations with China were no small feats. Yet we must also grapple with the darker chapters of his tenure, such as the controversial end to the Vietnam War and his support for authoritarian regimes. His life after government service saw him transition into a geopolitical consultant and author, but his legacy remains a subject of heated debate. His pragmatic approach to politics known as real politic has been both lauded for its effectiveness and criticized for its ethical implications. But what do you make of all this? History after all is not a monolith but a complex tapestry woven from countless individual threads. It's crucial to consider the full spectrum of Kissinger's actions and their impact on the world stage. We encourage you to reflect on the information presented, delve into further research, and form your own opinions. Engage in conversations, share your perspectives, and let's keep the dialogue about our history alive. History is not just about the past, it's about understanding the foundations of our present and shaping our future. That's why it's so important to challenge ourselves, to question, to learn, and to grow. If you enjoyed this deep dive into history and want more, please subscribe to the History Facts YouTube channel. Together we can continue to explore the complexities of our past.